Sheen. How about that girl? Yeah, we talked about her earlier. Damn. <laughs> we got you a nice that. picture of her on the paper over here. It's uh, the Opie and Anthony Show on She's XM so Satellite Radio. Jimmy She's is so chomping bad. at the bit over there. What do you got, Jimmy? Well, me and Kyle were just insulting each other. Oh, it's just, they're, they're, they're just very because, hurtful. No, because Jimmy put up a great suggestion. You guys have to have my management. He's got some wild tales from his trips. And then I mentioned, yeah, let's bring my accountant in, you jackass. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, see, that's Shut where, you, your mouth, that's where you're wrong, though, uh, man. I've heard these stories yeah, from Jonathan. He's, the guy's fucking insane. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got to be a fucking arms dealer. It's not like he's going to Vegas or right. or, or, or to Yosemite. Yosemite, 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 Yosemite. This guy is like, he's got pictures like of African kings going by with armed guards as he's on the side of the road for the parade. He's like Jay Peterman from uh, Seinfeld. Yeah, you know that show? It's not exactly. Yeah, it's not exactly <laughs> like. A, My mate, must be bring it up again. Huh? Excuse me, he's a guy that you know. Sells 700 Sundays in Sierra Leone, so I'm really not that blown away. <laughs> well, he Sierra went, Leone, he went to uh, Mr. Corleone, <laughs> Michael Corleone, Michael Corleone. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he just travels a lot. So I just mentioned that, and as we were talking, Colin just was saying. Uh, why don't you bring on your accountant? And he was dismissing me by not looking at me with his fucking awful middle finger pointed at me. Yeah. Which I thought was definitely anger. disrespectful. Well, here's the thing about Jim. As you guys know, I spoke to you guys briefly at the Pat Cooper roast, and mm -hmm. I said I really disgusted with Jim. And as you know, I'm only half joking when I say things like that. <laughs> yeah. And I mentioned that. Here's what bothers me about Jim. What? Okay, I've mentioned this to him before. Okay, we're in a, we're in a car one day, and I'm, I, I was probably taking him. He drives me uptown in his crummy car, <laughs> non-celebrity car. The fancy caddy. What are you talking about? It's, it's Caddy caddy key is like I drove you a Camry. Camry. Obviously, it's you haven't taken a ride caddy. with Jimmy in a while. Camry <laughs> caddy. It's a Camry caddy. It looks like a Camry. It feels like a Camry, and nobody knows it's a caddy unless you say it. <laughs> <laughs> caddy actually took the, the insignia off. And put a so I get. So we're in the car, me, him, and his girl. And you know, and so maybe I was zinging him a little hard. You forget sometimes because we're comedians and we bust balls. But when you call Jimmy, like I kept calling him what an ugly creep and how he's or worked out to look mediocre. And I forget that, like even though we're comedians, <laughs> oh, we bust balls. Probably his childhood had a lot of pain and horror, as it yes. should have. <laughs> so as it suddenly, <laughs> here we are, me being a snide kind of idiot. His girlfriend's sitting there probably politely putting up with it. And then Jim outbursts, goes, so what about you? You act like you were at 10 when you were younger. You weren't that great looking. Just with total anger, like no, holding in this you're nonsense. Wrong. No. And I was like, first of all... I never thought I was a ten. I was about a. Se I was a hard seven. He goes, "You were a fucking six. Me, no. He actually <laughs> thought it was the no, 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 You will not make a Just monologue out of this. No, he's lying. Your... He's lying. He's Can lying. I or he's my deluded. statement. No, this because is my opening statement. It's, it's, it's a, a forty-minute dissertation. That's not true. It's a falsehood. You're spreading falsehoods. No, it's not. I wasn't angry. Here's what Colin does. He was does. angry that burst. Uh, believe me, I wasn't mad. Me and my girlfriend still laugh at that house. She's like, what did Colin say he was that day? I'm like, a hard seven. But he acts like, Colin acts like he's fucking 10 pounds away from the glory days. Like he was fucking. Oh, no, I don't. He, well, all right, 140. He acts like he was beautiful. <laughs> and he was not a bad looking guy. But to that's all I said. I never but thought you, I was But you act looking. like you were gorgeous. But that's what I'm saying. The fact that he thinks that. But no, it's true. First of all, even if it had been true, which I, I know how I really thought. But even if I did think that. Why wouldn't you let an old man have his old delusion? Because you're not that much scream. older than me. He screamed. I didn't scream at you. The amount of anger there, and here's my other point, what? okay? Here's my other point, which I do. <laughs> what other point? You haven't made one to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's my first and only point. And he is a lot older than you. He's yeah. 10 years older I'm than me. I'm 48. Yeah. I'm 30, 39. You're yeah, nine but, years older than me. But in entertainment years, Colin is a hell of a lot older than you. Yeah. But here's what bothers me. Nothing. The fact that he's angry about <laughs> no, that. That's true. <laughs> that was pretty funny, I thought. Well, I thought it was, I didn't think it was an insult, but apparently it was. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Kyle. What? Go ahead. Yeah, I don't like the fact that Jim, right after his last special, goes to the club every night because it's almost like, hey, man, I'm a gym rat. I just work at stand up. You're a compulsive ass. Oh, okay. Take a few weeks off, shut up, and let me finish. No. Quit your I'll tell you why. I'm not a gym rat. You think to yourself, hey, I'm a guy that just blue collar. I take my lunch pail into the club every night with your fake humility, and I'm putting a stop to it today. Right Why? Now. I don't want people to Shut your face. Hold on. No, no, no. Here's You're the compulsive. Thing. Take a few weeks off and just breathe. I, I'm compulsive. 
Have you ever seen yourself in front of a buffet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hurtful. Of course it was. But well, it's not true. the reason I do it is because... It was, I don't think a buffet way. I know. I couldn't think of a better way to say it. Was good. But the bottom line is I don't want people coming out after seeing the HBO special and seeing the same shit. They're going to get pissed off. It's selfish. I want to make I more money. I think what Kyle's trying to say, though, you don't, you don't seem to enjoy all the success at but times. I do enjoy the success. No, that's I love not what I'm saying. I'm trying to chore? stop any enjoyment of the success. Oh, you don't yeah. want him to enjoy it. If he has any chance of enjoying it, I'm putting a stop to it now. That's oh, really dude, look, another though. chewed pen. I mean, the fucking. I uh, they keep chewing the pens. You want to chew pen? I don't know. Whoever it is is going to get. What are you doing? Oh, he's putting it up his there ass. There you go. Whoever chews pens, <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy the chewed pen, oh, fucking God. cunt. Damn it. Chew on that shit. Ew. Now, wait a minute. Yes, that's shit, all right. Um, Jim, so, you have to be careful with that kind of behavior. No, I don't like. I want to do new stuff, so I was done with the set in June, and I, I started doing new stuff. I got, I don't, you don't do the same material. People come out and see me, they fucking not going to see the same act. You know what, he's all, a little... That, I'm picking up something here. What? I don't want to do completely bash uh, jealousy, Jimmy. But no, like, no, no, no. Jump in, please. I'm picking up something. I think Jimmy is assuming that everyone has seen the HBO special. Yeah, you're right. And and no, so so no that he's got to get it. new material, because when they go out, everyone that's there has seen... His uh, uh, old material. No, no one's seen it, but it's more than that. Not everyone, no. But uh, but I do think that a good amount of people will come who have seen it. Hold on. <laughs> We're trying to change this up. Can I address my friend? <laughs> I think there's truth in yes. both. No, I don't assume I've really seen it. Believe me, I would love to be able to just live off that for another year, but you That's can't. That's not what I'm saying. What? What I'm saying is that you think you I fancy think yourself... A humble gym rat that goes down to the club and just works it out. And I want you to stop coming to the club. And if I see you there again, I'm gonna punch you in the snout. <laughs> well, you're never there. What are you talking about? You fucking well, lonely decide, psychopath. If I decide to go there, you know, you're writing a manifesto like fucking Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> you're never there. He's just in front of his computer, railing about technology and Jews and the fucking lesbians that run show business. <laughs> what are you talking about? How do you know where I am? <laughs> he's, he's starting to leave the house again. He's fucking. That's right. I'm here, aren't I? You were yeah. an agoraphobic creep. You had to because Mazzilli threatened to fire you if you didn't fucking plug. You probably had eight tickets sold. It's like go on the radio. No one knows you're at our club. Oh shit! But that's why he's here to plug. It's fine. The hurt that is going on, on over here. There's no hurt at all. It's, it's, oh, that's where you have to go out and plug when you're on a you're doing a gig. Oh, do you believe this idiot's trying to act like Mister Pragmatic? Shut your but mouth right now. But it's the truth. It's reality. Oh, yeah. very, I am a very pragmatic, which I think means realistic <laughs> guy. I'm not exactly sure what pragmatic means. Colin, what's Hopefully going on? Hopefully, it with means you? fun and joyful. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on with Colin? Uh, well, uh, actually, what Jimmy's saying is semi-correct, and that I have been writing my manifestos. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they're not really against anything particular. It's just basically it's a compilation. You know, I have like what happened was I got ahead of myself psychologically and wrote thousands and thousands of pages. So my apartment looks a little bit like Kaczynski is a high, <laughs> a little bit like Beautiful Mind. <laughs> yeah, so just and no one's stuck to the walls with strings <laughs> connecting bits <laughs> yes. together. And, yeah, and that's the problem. So I've been trying to organize it, but it's very difficult. I wish I had like a you know I fantasize about having like a really efficient Asian like assistant you know oh. yes in stockings and of course yeah. the other part of it yes and mail you know <laughs> but I'm just it's, that's what I've been going on with me you know why don't you get yourself a trapper keeper I used to use those to organize when I was <laughs> or the five section dunk book but I got like so many you know what I mean I was like thousands. it is like it's gone it's gone a little out of my control and yeah, what is this thing gonna be a book well, someday like 10, but it's just so many things it's, a, it's too many pages of things wow are you being serious for once? Yes, yes. Yes. So you just weird. Sits, you just sit there and, and you, you're typing away. No, here's what I don't like is I just go to OB. Like I, his, OB's like, so you got all the stuff like, yeah, you're really trying to. Like I was like, yeah, OB understands. It's like I got him and he goes, you being serious? I go, yeah. He goes, well, it's, it was weird. It's, it's weird, <laughs> weird. When, it's weird when you get serious, Colin. Oh, I thought you meant you're, it was weird very, that I have all my thousands you're of very, pages. You're very protective. Yes, you we are. We only see one side of you, the sarcastic side. We don't get to see the real sweet Colin. We don't get Collins. to see the sweet Colin. You have well, a big fat shell around you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like... <laughs> I picture you crying alone in your apartment oh. some nights. No, not really crying, you know. There's a lot more anger than me. Yeah. Than, uh, Chewing the inside of his mouth like a coke addict. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more, you know. We're just trying to see other sides of you today. I can't imagine myself... Yeah, this is kind of an intervention. You, you didn't realize what you stepped into well, today. Well, I'm just trying to say, like, I'm not really, I don't see myself as hurting myself before really damaging a lot of people. A lot of other people. <laughs> sure. My own analysis of it, you know. Really? Just... You don't like when I was in your 30th floor apartment and he steps over the rail and he's kind of hanging on and letting go for a second? You Did you really? Yes, that. he was. That's cool. Yes, he was. 36th floor. And, and doing like the, 
It, oh, yes. where, where you let go, fall backwards, and then grab the rail? All right, Colin, that's well, a problem. like that. That's a bit no, of a problem. No, I used to do that on cool. tough ground. I'd lean out the window and hang on. From what? The fucking, the, on the set? 17th floor? No, the, uh, the office on the 17th floor. Why would you wait, do wait, that? Wait, wait, wait. Could you slow down a minute? That's crazy. Whose apartment was this? His. My so apartment. you have an outdoor space? He's a balcony. Balcony. Okay. And he was on the outside of the railing? Yes, he stepped outside the railing, and he's like letting go for it. Not going back that far. That's because hilarious. The arm is just what were you hoping bit. for? A really good reaction from your friends? Well, you know yeah. what I was hoping like for? Like Butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> he, was hoping to, uh, he was hoping a stray pigeon would come by and yeah. jar me. And snip at his you eye. Were, you were hoping well. for an ounce of care from, from Jim Norton. That's the last thing you gets... see is a smiling Jim Norton yeah, like, looking over the railing. <laughs> that's how Colin gets love. He can't just say, I need some love. He has to hang on to a rail so we'll all go, no, don't. Like He wants us to, he wants the value of having everyone okay, appreciate the fact that he's... turning he... my great beginning analysis. <laughs> this what was your beginning analysis? Analysis. About you. Well, well it's and about, suddenly it's turn around about me. So what? That's the way life is. Turn about is fair play. And why I would, always say. And why would you? And you would hang <laughs> out. Some tough talk. You would hang out the window. Yeah, but that's that was easy. I don't remember. That's that. such a small part of the manifesto. I can't even believe we're discussing it. That's nothing to me. But you could have. You do understand. You could have. Nah. Fallen. Nah. To your death. Yes, but anything and, can happen. What? But th that didn't bother you, or. How far did he lean back before you grabbed hold again? Doesn't well, matter. Not, not just far. stepping. Just, but that just, doesn't matter. Just the act of doing it, dude. I would be freaked it, it, out stepping on the other side of the rail, yeah. holding on oh. tight. But some people are also very scared of heights. Like Bobby Kelly's been over my house a couple times, and he goes on the balcony. Don't, don't push me. You know, it's like no, he's afraid the balcony is going to fucking just crack <laughs> under his weight, <laughs> as he should be. You better off backing a steamroller onto your fucking balcony and letting Bob step onto it. Yeah. He's scared that he's going to go right through that railing with yes. a slight push. He's scared, and the balcony is also scared. <laughs> they look at each other with a mutual understanding. Just look over me from inside. <laughs> I'll do what I can for you, kid. But <laughs> well, I'm stepping on that balcony. It would be like an elephant stepping onto a piece of tracing paper. Sure. <laughs> poor Bob. Not Fuck here to poor defend. Bob. Right Not here to defend mouth. himself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck poor Bob with a black cock right in his mouth. That's what I say to Bob. <laughs> fucking juicy lips. <laughs> <laughs> fucking grab his head and fuck his throat. <laughs> <laughs> you got Colin laughing. Or is he crying? Who knows? Uh, are you crying? Laughing? What do you got over there, Colin? Just an elephant of Tracy. Baby. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's very gotcha. good. I don't think it'll hold us. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy paper. So you're going to be a Gotham, Colin? Yeah. But what about the manifesto? I need to organize your system. What are you trying to do? Right? Yeah, what is I it? I don't know. Is it like a huge is book? It, no, is it a book everything. about your life? It's everything. It's everything. It's then start books. writing a blog. You, are you a blogger? Books. No. I blogged for a couple of days. It was boring. Well, then why don't you fucking stop being such an isolated homo and fucking get someone to help you straighten it out and sell it? Yeah, why the isolation? I don't know. Uh oh, we are getting the serious call. Yeah, he's we're breaking back away down. from the mic. Colin's depressed, I think. That's my are you theory. Depressed? My are theory you? is he hasn't told me that, but I theorize he's a little depressed. Sell some drugs. What? <laughs> the, the Suffolk County solution. <laughs> In Nassau, my friend. Colin. I know, but where you from? Aren't you from? Yeah, Ronkonkoma? I'm from Suffolk. Where What's, are you from? Ronkonkoma? Huntington. Oh, he's no, changing. not Ronkonkoma. He's changing the subject to where you're from. That's never good. I'll go right back to it. Go uh, ahead. Are you depressed? Why are you depressed? No, I'm actually coming out of depression, but I was depressed you for a couple see, of years. How are you? You seem uh, way better than the last time I saw you. Thank you, exactly. I'm dead serious. Like the fact that no I'm being serious now. I'm agreeing with you. You I had said, a, like thank a you. you had a, like a distant, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You had a distant look in your eyes for a while there. You yes. don't I don't see that today. Yeah. Thousand yards right. stare. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't see that today. Were you? That's right. Yeah. Did you name yeah, your it. fucking computer Charlene? <laughs> <laughs> about anything? <laughs> Full metal jacket. Yep. Anything in particular or just one of those uh, chemical imbalance depressions? No, I think I was just depressed in general. A lot of yeah. stuff. You know? I don't know. I don't think it was chemical. You but... find yourself sleeping late? No, not no. Not like that. I always sleep no? late. You know? How did you get life. out of the depression? Just kind of just, you know, just facing it. You know, I mean, I've been going to therapy for many years anyway, but yeah. work, working yeah. out and stuff. No, obviously not. How could you ask before, that? No. <laughs> Why don't you ask him if he's fucking painted his face black? <laughs> Jesus, open. He's obviously not. No, no, just I'll say something else. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to say something else. It looks like he did lose a few pounds. That's why I asked that. Thanks, Hope. Did you? What do you think of that? I, I'm i not going to bad mouth. I said just yeah, that three years of working out and no <laughs> definition whatsoever. But I understand. I'm, I, I, I shut up. By the way, I said, over, no definition. Bag open. No I said definition. a few. I said a few, not a lot, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to feel the guns? 
Oh. I can look right here, and I'm telling you. I, I agree, actually. I, I have been kind of swinging in the wind there, fucking working out, hoping for a little definition, but I can't stop eating. It's, it's your eating difficult. habits. I know it is. Yeah. It's not the food. No. Uh, so, <laughs> so what? You just started living your life again? Like, no, I still haven't started living my life, but I've been depressed, but I've just been working on certain things. But, you know, it's, also, it's a lot of stuff, has, you know. I mean, I hate to even talk about it because it, it really is about the manifesto. I hate to say it, but it really is. <laughs> yeah. You know, and so that's been a big part of it. You know? Is, is, is uh, in the manifesto, is it your life? Is it some fiction? Is it like what's I don't know. It's a it? bunch of different things, but it's just different disorganized, things. you know. Like you would just w what, wake up in the middle of the night and go, hey, let me type away here. And like, are you, some ideas would just spill out of you. Yeah. And also my my divorce was a big thing. but I Oh. Know, I didn't realize it at the time. I, was oh, like, I forced shit. it to happen. But you know Do what you mean? back up your fucking stuff on computers, stupid, or no? Oh boy! What's wrong with him? Yeah, I just—I had this vision. This guy's of, opening up here. I'll, I'll tell you why. The backup I had this because I had this vision of him writing for years, yeah. and and he's such a losing it and one losing power it surge. So I'm like, yeah, do you back it up? <laughs> of course, I have okay. everything. Don't say of course. Back like that you're, shit like you're savvy. Up. So you ne never got okay. over the divorce? No, but I think that affected me greatly. Oh, uh, why? I'm over it because it had to. Ugh. Stupid well, wives. Because Colin was in love. Oh, oh was least, that it? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't in a miserable but you know, marriage. I was, yeah, in, but if I was, was in a short misery. Marriage. Yeah. Oh, was a short, he wasn't married for a long time. It was a short one. Oh, it was a short one. man. I was and do you, for a while. do you see, like, that, uh, was it your fault, do you think? <laughs> I don't think you could find anybody in the world that could say it was anything but my fault. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. That There's no... Man. I literally left her no choice. It's a hundred percent no choice. <laughs> if, if there's a hundred percent of anything, in the do you world, want to share? Get it off your chest? Wow! Or no? I just literally left it like she had no choice but to leave. Like what type of things were you doing that a woman would not enjoy or want to be around? Well, or? He is the ultimate thing. What I really did in the long run to chase her away was cheated on her, and then told her, I'm not saying I'm going to not cheat again. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> right. All right. Who do you think that's you are, Gene Simmons? <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much 100%. Wow. You yeah. know, I, I was waiting for the explanation of 100%. He just nailed it. Yeah. There's you not a better wow. definition of 100% than that you right You really there. are forcing a person to be pushing him right out of there. Yeah, if you would have, like, begged and said, oh, I'm sorry, I, I absolutely wouldn't do this again, then you could say, then, all right, at you least you tried. Yeah. There might be a glimmer of hope. But like, when you yeah, say, yeah, exactly. you might go to therapy and figure this out together. Exactly. But, but when but you, you say... Uh, if you, or if it's like 1973, it's me and Kevin Klein in the ice storm, you know, <laughs> standing there in our jackets, honey, it's a swinging world. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just left it a choice, you know. Wow. And that bothers you? Well, it bothers me because, you know, yeah, it, bo it does bother me a little then bit. Then why'd, uh, why'd you cheat? Well, at the time, it didn't bother me. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then you realized that you really blew it. And this was a combat. I have to say my work, the things I've been working on are just the fact that I've written certain amounts of shows and certain amounts of movies that don't get done, that are really like what should be done. And I just feel like they're going to end up doing crummy versions of it eventually. It really makes me so angry. Yeah. About show business, I can't even. I can't even talk about. I can't jokingly talk about the level of fury that I feel about it. Yeah. And I know that relative to a six-year-old like a Sudanese child, my problems mean nothing. <laughs> to me, they're actually it. more important. <laughs> That's where we differ. <laughs> but compared to the people that I know do certain things or get certain success, it just I can't help it. I, I know it's the I know it's the cliche of bitterness, but I know that my work it all should be done. I prove I prove it every time I do do get some things. And I just want to burn down about eight networks <laughs> and kill about five thousand people. Same crap happens to us in this radio I, business, I, man. It, it's amazing that how 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 hard they make this. How yeah. hard they make this. Opie, we have a show. Yeah, Opie. See, see the <laughs> one difference is you guys have a show. See, well, we without have getting a show. It, without getting into detail, trust me, we can relate. Can I Let's say, just put it that way? And I, I think what Colin needs, my opinion, because Colin told me other management problems he had. Is I think you need a fucking good manager. That's what I think. Because this stuff is really fucking. Colin's good. very funny, very smart, clever guy, and and the the idea that yeah, for years. Uh, you, you, you're throwing your stuff out there, yeah. and these fucking uh. like pieces of shit get on TV, get TV shows, uh, uh, huge tours, whatever the fuck it is. It's like there's no justice in the business, but hey, it's not like there was supposed to be, though. But I, I know examples of some great stuff, though. Who's your caddy? 
The Caveman series is terrific. Exactly. But I don't think that Jim's uh, answer is correct. Oh, oh. I'm not going to. My answer is not getting Commander McBrag with him. No, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you why I said that. Shut up and let the laugh finish. Right, you're right. Commander McBrag. Right. That's a big laugh. It was a. There we were. There we were. Me, Robert, and Billy. And Jack Rollins. Yes. My goodness, what did you do, McBrag? <laughs> well, I pulled out a toothpick. <laughs> yeah. it was, you know, it was during the making of License to Wed, so of course we shot in Mozambique, as you know, because it's the finest hunting in the land. <laughs> that one time, Kyle. <laughs> Shut up and let All right, I stopped. One time, Kyle, License to Wed? What are you trying to defend your company? Shut the fuck no, up. I, let us laugh at the shit they put out. I don't even and know what you're talking off. about. I, oh! I swear to God, I don't know who Commander McBrag is. I swear to God. Really? I don't know. believe. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. But I was saying, me and Kyle were talking one time, and he was talking about his manager at the time being annoying. Cause he's oh, like, he's supposed to be the manager. But, but you know, yeah. I asked him, he's got more sense. <laughs> Whoa. You mean if I don't get my script sold, I lose $15,000? That's right. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> so I fucking... Coffee? <laughs> In a minute. Bring me the coffee. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he was complaining about his fucking manager, and he's going trying to get his manager to push harder for his scripts, and you need somebody that fucking says this is a great script, and is a fucking animal and fucking makes the calls and pushes through. Not somebody that's fucking wishy-washy with it. To me, that's important. Oh, wishy-washy. You don't yeah, want I mean, it's You got true. a wishy-washer? Yeah. It's the I truth. I don't have any badge or any agent right now. But exactly. Wow. For two years. That's silly. Okay. No, it's not. No, guys. It is. Let me tell you something. Please. I would write a... I, I would write. I would read a Colin Quinn book. So you got to find your angle. Well, I mean, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you I'm write doing. on pop culture? Do you write about your life? Do you write about, I write about everything. stand up? Everything. Yeah, but you got to find like some kind of angle. He talks about it. In, you, in here's, the what you, here's what Colin's book should be. It should be you. Here should be the photo. Should be you, like sitting in front of a computer with like a bunch of like papers piled up and your hands in the air, like what the hell, folks? <laughs> and, and the book should be called Colin Quinn, and then it should be calling after it Hodgepodge. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that in my CD. <laughs> Oh, is that awful? What an awful picture you've just conjured up. Hodgepodge, and he's in front of a whole bunch of papers. Oh. We don't know what it's about, ladies and germs. See, I'll tell I you. Would I would throw really that good. on the floor and step on Colin, it. Colin, your problem is you got friends like him. You know that, right? You yeah. don't help. I'm, I'm very no help supportive. Of that. Help. I'm a, I'm a big, no help. No I'm help. very helpful. That's not true. No, you're not. Your lips are awful. <laughs> you're not helpful. See, you know, fucking see. burn victim lips. See, how, how's that going to help you, Colin? <laughs> he knows that stuff. He's irrelevant. Not only that, but I you like hang out hodge, with the wrong crowd. I like the hodgepodge idea with me in a turtleneck, though. <laughs> yeah, I like that hodgepodge. It's a green turtleneck, and you have a red sweater vest over it. You release it around Christmas, and there's like this tinsel around you too. No, you don't release it around Christmas, and I'm still worried that. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. This tinsel on you, and it's August fourth. <laughs> and it's it hands up in the air. Yeah. Forward is by Garrison Keillor or somebody. <laughs> hodgepodge. Like it's the just suit. a mishmash of things. Oh, never. See. Well, I'm putting on a CD, American Gangster. I told you. American gagster. <laughs> American gagster. It takes my eyes. Superman posts my picture in Denzel's face when I post her. <laughs> no, you're right. They don't help. So you're they leaving your house yeah. more. Are you going on the road to do a little No, comedy? I've been on the road this whole time. I mean, uh, You canceled Florida. What was that about? When? Well, mm -hmm. we got spies everywhere. Jesus. I didn't cancel Florida. Let's go to Tim in Florida. Tim? Hey, Colin. Yeah, you know, I was going to sit through awful... Christian Finnegan and that Rosie O'Donnell replacement, Caroline Ray, to see you in, in Lakeland, and you canceled. No, I didn't cancel. They canceled that gig. Oh, did they? That's yeah, the sorry, yeah. Ugh. Why? That was like last week. Yeah, you got to come back to Florida. They didn't cancel because of, I guess, lack of test ticket sales or something. <laughs> did you guys go on the radio and promote? You got to get out there. Shut your mouth, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> there, there really is no support base with the uh, people that you know yeah. and hang out with. The, the comic, no, they comics are the worst. They are the worst. Colin, no, we're not. No, 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 you're terrible. The truth is, you, I was always very, you know, you should move. Of you all should all move and yeah. change your name. I'm done with that. Move What's and that? change your name. What? You think so? Yeah. Get away from these Well, guys. I actually have an idea for They're a name that's kind of hip. Ken Fresno. <laughs> Ken Fresno. <laughs> that's what good. What are you going to do, weather? <laughs> Pretty good. I don't know if it's an action hero name. Ken Fresno. <laughs> Ken Fresno. <laughs> that is instantly a new name on the message board. And, and now, Ken Fresno. And now with your five-day forecast, it's Ken Fresno. Well, he had names for me and Voss, too. Yeah. Uh, like, well, what the names we should tour under, and mine was Little Pete Ferguson. <laughs> this is Little Pete Ferguson and Voss. 
Wars was, is this the perfect name for Wars? Ronnie Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he has to go the rat tail back. He has to go the rat tail back. <laughs> and and Keith, I had names for Keith. What the hell is Keith? Well, yeah. Uh, Starts with an N. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's one word. <laughs> you got to leave this negativity behind. Yeah, what do you mean we've been too you've been too supportive of us and we're all supportive of you? What are you talking about? Shut Every up. interview I do I talk about you. Shh. No, I won't shush. I'm no. gonna finish my point. <laughs> That's what Voss says. I support you on every radio. Shut up. What's well, Voss? No one listens to Voss. No one can understand them. <laughs> There's no sense. I don't yeah, care, that you, I don't care that you say positive things about me when you positive things. things you fucking Pedro mumbling fuck zilch. knuckle in uh, you know Butte, Montana, doing your shitty game. Positive things. <laughs> fucking. This is support. I know. Listen, to, him, listen to the two of them. Well, what the bald guy was hanging off a rail like I, 36 stories. I know. Up. With this those is fucking awful helping. sea bass stomach fish hands. <laughs> by the way, you fucking. By the way, fucking little. Fishy sea bass they're belly hands just, make me sick. They're awful to each other. Yeah, that's that they're doesn't help things. You two are horrible to each other. And you know Jerry Springer says every day, be nice to each other. Yeah, he really well, does. That. that redeems the whole show as far as I'm concerned. Of course. Be nice to each other. Why you, the how about this? How about, what? this is going to be a challenge for both of you. How about you say something nice about each other? Who wants to start? We say plenty of nice things about we each other. We say lots of nice things. We certainly do. All right. How about one? Colin, why don't you start? Something um, nice about you and me. Sincere. I thought that uh, Jill Al, Jim's <laughs> last HBO special was even funnier when he did the when he did it. You know, the first HBO special was funny. The second one he just did was even funnier when he did the same thing the second time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. I didn't see. Okay. Oh shit! Holy shit! See, they can't it's do it. No, I know. They can't do it. I want to say something nice to Colin. All right. All right. Um, One nice thing, Jimmy. I I I, uh, <laughs> I I saw your first HBO special, and. Oh, wait, there was no second one. <laughs> All right, I better move on. <laughs> See? <laughs> but I knew he was trying to say something nice because halfway through he realized it. He goes, oh, wait. These guys are scared. Of just, <laughs> <laughs> these guys are scared to show real feelings. That's not true. We do all the time. All right, then, Colin, do. back to you. One nice thing about Jimmy. We're going to get this done today. Okay. Um, that Jimmy doesn't have AIDS after all the sexual encounters. <laughs> and I'll say this: if Colin was killed in a fire, I would be bothered. <laughs> See, <laughs> I'll say this: <laughs> they, they hide behind their laughter. <laughs> These guys can't show a, a real. If Jimmy was killed in an uprising during one of his management meetings. Okay. <laughs> in Paraguay. <laughs> Paraguay of all places. <laughs> the great white hunter with Buana. His, his agent Buana. Ah, <laughs> oh, you too. Well, not, that's not true. I think that we say a lot of nice things. I, I just think nice comics, things. comics are really incapable of, of, of yeah. sharing sincere emotion with each other sure. without surprised. having to throw You'd in be surprised a, with, a zinger. Mm. You'd be surprised what Jim Atazoa is uh, capable Jim, of emotion-wise. Jim Atazoa? Equating <laughs> <laughs> him with yeah, some type yeah. of sperm. I believe. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know what... I, I bet you the, this is Jim like that. sleeps in a Petri dish. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly... I honestly think that these guys cannot do it. That's not true. Well, well it, let's take away. What have we told you and Anthony to do it? You exactly. Do it I said it all the time. What? What do you say? I love you, man. Like a Budweiser commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got to be like the punch on the arm. You can never just be sweet. We've definitely said nice things about each other yeah. uh, on the air. You guys cannot do it on the air. Sure we can. Jim Colin, can. back to you. Sure, sure One nice thing about Jimmy, and then we could go back to trashing each other. Jimmy is a... a, a a very, very uh, smart, funny comic, and really uh, brought a new, whole, new, refreshing, uh, you know, mindset to comedy. Ooh. Stop there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop there. I know you're chomping. <laughs> I'm not chomping. I'm He's done. chomping. And I will say something nice about Colin. Oh, okay. He is he is perceptive, and and uh, <laughs> he is. <laughs> Good at speaking the truth about funny guys. <laughs> no, I, come on, how many good things I love Colin? He's the funniest guy Colin, in the world. I, mean, I, I fucking said that a million Colin times. Colin is playing along, Jimmy. Come on. There's no help Colin Quinn. He's Colin, in deep but, depression here. But Colin knows that. <laughs> Colin. <laughs> there's, there's, not, oh, there's not an interview I do, regardless of Shut the size up. of the paper, where I don't say, when they say, 
that comedy and stuff, I say Colin's the funniest guy in the business. I, I always say that. He's the guy that I've makes me that. laugh. I've read he that. He makes Colin. me laugh harder than I've anybody else doing stand up comedy. Yeah. I, I say that all the time. Now I got to say this. I hate you guys because you ruined our bit. But we no, could've, we, we, we could continue with this for another 10 minutes. No, we, we wasted uh, a lot of time you know, on this. It's going to be fucking vile again. I mean, what you think? We're just gonna, it's going to be a love fest. I, I'm looking at his hands. I, I want to fucking bite them. <laughs> What's wrong with my hands? They're fucking horrendous. In the, in the break, we said this because he was giving me the finger and, and that fucking that liver spotted foot he holds up out of his sleeve. It looks like fucking olive loaf. I, I want to put your, your fucking hand between two pieces of white bread and watch Fat Bob Kelly eat it out of a plastic baggie. <laughs> see, they both, see, they had to go back into the safe zone. Yeah. No, no, people are no, really safe. listening to this, how like it's such un, it's so uncomfortable for them to say something nice that they have to get right back into trash. It was awkward and uncomfortable when yeah. they had to compliment each so other. So they have to go right and back. And now it's all just going back to it. It's all fun. Maybe Jim was, but I was happy to just sit oh, here and I say never left guy, it. Jim was. Believe me, I never left it. It was only on pause while I said something nice. All I do is hit play again. <laughs> See, of course we're going to say awful things about each other. Well, Nobody Colin, wants to hear two comedians being Colin, nice. It, You're terrific. I don't think it was you right too. That, <laughs> I don't think it was right that Bob Kelly got dragged into it about the pimento loaf. Neither did I. I pulled my back out trying to pull that pig anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is uh, that's pork. just ignorant. He's supposed to slice those things. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is very healthy for Colin. Uh, <laughs> this is a very healthy uh, hour oh. for Colin. Quinn. I want to somehow see or read this uh, manifesto. I want to read see it on something. TV or in the movies or whatever the hell you're going to do with it. I think it's going to be like you know. Colin, you can take a break from show business. This is what you do. You get a what book. do you mean you can take a break from show business? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, man. Sign your book deal. Get a fucking book out there. I promote the shit out book. of it. Why but, not? But just... Oh. But promote the shit. I do book signings. It'll be a great experience for because you. Because I'm not like some of these guys that just, you know... You constantly see them pushing their books and their dumb CDs and their specials, constantly doing every stupid You've, thing. They'll do a line in a shitty big action movie. Just, you know, I'm not like that. Old. Absolutely but you do real, not. But you got to do real work. They'll be in Spider-Man Five. They don't give a damn. I'm trying to do real work. Well, we for don't the people. all have right. Crocodile Dundee Two to fall back on. Oh. I'm saying that. Oh. That's fucking like I had. <laughs> if he kills himself today, it's gonna be on your uh, head. Good one, Hope. You're right. Cost it's gonna be on your head, Jimmy. I didn't mean it. No, that was, was, a, that was a Paul Hogan story. You don't like, you don't like self-promoting, do you? Why? No, that's Would not you the point. if you had that? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you like self-promoting, Kyle? No, it's not a it's question part of self-promoting. But it's part of your thing. Like, you got to tell no, people where you are. No, I just can't organize. No, I have no problem with, uh, with that. I, I look. Stand-up-wise, I, mean, I have no problem with self-promoting. I'm just saying right now, getting all my other stuff together is very... It's out of control. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's all these papers and these fucking... But you need files. organization somehow. I need to somehow get it out. It's Colin's too there. mean. That's the problem. It's in the computer yeah. and it's in everything. It's hard. You know? Why you, you, if someone tries to help Colin, like if you hey, man, I know someone who can help you organize and back stuff up, he'll go, shut your mouth! <laughs> No, yeah. That's not what it is. Nobody ever, believe me, he's making up now. Yeah. I've never said to me, hey, Kyle, I know so. Well, I never knew it until now. I didn't know you had a whole pile of a very, papers, you fucking psycho. You, you, you got I a very, you were sitting there like a you fucking the pack rat. Today. You got a very protective wall around you, Kyle. Uh, exactly, yeah. and it's made of blubber, too. <laughs> <laughs> I remember okay, lamp oil. <laughs> I remember one time trying to have a moment with him. I'm like, you know, you haven't been on the show in a while. Why don't you come in and uh, you know do our show? And he goes, shut up. I'm like, all right, have a good day. Hey, Colin, have where you been? <laughs> shut, shut your mouth. <laughs> right. In case of a blackout, I'm going to put a wick in you and light it. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> What does that mean? He's, just, he's, he's implying that, like a whale, you would have some type of blubber that would be uh, workable in a lamp. <laughs> like lamp oil. That was a good one. Um, that was a good one. But no, I, I knew you wrote, but I didn't know you had a pile of papers that were disorganized. You just, you just said that. I said you've been writing mm. for two years. Yeah. yeah. I've been writing mm. for a long time. Wow. Thanks. But, you know, I'll do what I do. I don't know. It's hard to get it organized. That's all I know. And then to get it out there somehow. Yeah. Somehow get it out but there. it's mostly the organization. You know, it's like... Yeah. Everything's uh, like finished, but it's like first draft, and I just, you know... All right, let's go to Lonnie. So why don't you have somebody... Hold, why don't you have somebody go through your computer, honestly? Is it all on the computer? It's Yeah, but it's, I'm telling you, it's thousands and thousands of pages of shit. So have That's, somebody... Here's what you do. Back it up onto a fucking... Here's how simple this is. You buy an external drive for Mac... 
a, a lacy drive. I'll help you hook it up. Bob Kelly would probably be more qualified to. Probably. All right, he would be. <laughs> you have somebody on a backup drive, so you don't have to do it. They don't have to be fucking with your computer. Take everything and somehow organize it. If it takes them a month, it takes them a month. But have them do it the best they can. And there are mm. people who will be able to do it through word searches and stuff. Fucking organize your stuff a lot faster well, than you think. If it's going to use that kind of profanity, I don't want to be involved. I don't mean to, but that's good, though. It's not, it's, it's, you, you, right now, you're putting fucking sausages on a bagel. <laughs> With Let's egg yolk. Bill. Let's go to Ralph in North Carolina. <laughs> right. It's uh, Lonnie. If you should see what he's eating right now, why don't you just fucking... I, I, th I had no reference. All right. So I bailed out. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie. It was a heart attack Yo. reference, and then I realized, why don't you just... Good. Hold on. <laughs> Stupid is eating a fucking open-faced bagel with, with, with eggs dripping and yolks and a fucking sausage. And as he tipped it, the egg fell onto his hand, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> that was a safe. What's up, Lonnie? <laughs> He's just filling up loneliness. Jimmy. Yes. Hey, uh, do you and Colin live together? Because you sound like an old married couple. No, we don't. <laughs> Y'all guys should uh, live together. Y'all. Well, this like is how we interact. Old. This is why Colin's a piece of shit. I'm talking <laughs> to him. I'm having a heartfelt talk with him because I, I, I did the Gene Simmons roast, and I never hired anybody to write for me before. But I'm like, you know what? Uh, there's a lot of comedians on the roast. I wanted to get the, com the perspective of a comic, and, and fucking, I'll pay him. I don't know how much to pay. My friend Kurt, and stupid Kurt, gives me two pages, like one the day before and the one the day of. Fucking lazy Kurt. So fucking, uh, they were funny jokes though. So I get them, and I'm like, Colin, like, I'm talking to him about it. And on the elevator, he goes, you know, I, I don't want to humiliate you in front of everybody, <laughs> but I've never hired anybody to ride for me. <laughs> wow. In front of the whole elevator, I had to justify myself. So I try to have, like, a nice, <laughs> ask a guy who's been around for years to fucking help me out with a piece of advice. Help me out of here, Hendry. And I've been around for years on my own two feet, not Kurtz. Mm. That's true. Kurtz. My buddy Kurt. Kurt Metzger is a funny writer. Oh, he's a funny comic. All right, let's go to James and Jersey. But as Carl says, he looks like a Bosnian war criminal. That could be the best <laughs> slam I've heard about a comic. <laughs> it's true. He really is horrendous. He fucking called him a Bosnian war criminal. And he has a big head with short, awful black hair. He's truly awful. He sends shivers up people's spines when he goes on stage. <laughs> Look, they're working together now. This is good. This is good. See? Because they have a common enemy yeah, yeah, now for a second say. or two. Let's go to James in Jersey. James. Holy, wh where, where the fuck did Kenny get this omelet? He's right behind you. Now Kenny gets wow, dragged Heather Mills into leave this on the kitchen floor? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want another one? I'll go back. It's okay. Where's the ketchup? Am I supposed to fucking do bleed onto it? Where's the ketchup? How about... Kenny, you got my... <laughs> Hold on a second. Jimmy Thank really you. is like LaMotta. I'm not like LaMotta because I want ketchup. I'm like Lenny from Mice and Men. I'm supposed to bleed on I want you. fucking ketchup. Tell him about the message I gave you. I text messaged you and Kenny after your special, stupid. Oh, uh, so <laughs> he, he said that the worst part of me shooting a special is that me and Kenny were probably sitting there together, like having a serious Afterwards, moment. Afterwards, they just like, yeah. Looking at each other. Well, don't tell me to tell and then fucking jump in and interrupt me. <laughs> Why didn't you want to ruin it? I'm not ruining it. <laughs> fucking just have the stroke while you're eating that. You've never seen anybody have a worse fucking meal. Than he is right now. Just give fucking me gulls are more polite and dumb <laughs> than you are eating that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking should be circling a garbage scow. <laughs> fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had him on the same page, Ed. I almost had him. <laughs> Colin, just give me just leave me the password to your computer so I can make you famous in your in your death. Yeah, posthumously. Yeah. Uh, posthumously. Right. Hey uh James Jersey, what's up? Hey guys. Hey. hey. Hey, uh, Colin, um, I was wondering if you were uh, really bitter or upset when uh, you got, when you used to do Weekend Update on Saturday Night Live and uh, they replaced you. I wonder if that, you know, that really depressed you or that really bothered you when that happened? Well, that, yeah, I mean, that bothered, <laughs> I just saw a picture card. Yeah, that pissed me off, too. Okay, no, I, th I thought you were pretty good. I mean, Norm McDonald was great at it. And, yeah. Uh, I remember being really upset when they, uh, when they fired him. I thought that was total crap. Yeah. I don't like the way you said to Colin, you were pretty good. And I remember Norm MacDonald was great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No Why well, kick a guy while he's down? Yeah, that's not going to help nothing. Colin today by saying that, sir. Oh. 
All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, Kyle, hold on. Colin, what he said to me in the message was very funny. He texted me. He said the worst part is that me and Kenny were probably sitting there after the thing. And do you want to say what you did? Because I probably I will fucking butcher the quote, but it was very funny. <laughs> now he tells they, them to they tell go the story. They clicked. <laughs> Why did you wait for him to have a <laughs> mouthful of food? Well, no, Jimmy? because if, if, if not, really what am I going to do until three in the morning <laughs> and he finally falls asleep? <laughs> 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 I said they sat in the dressing room and clicked glasses together and goes, hey, man, we did it. <laughs> and click glasses together. Oh. <laughs> Can you redo that as, what was his name, Ken Fresno? Ken Fresno. Ken Fresno. Ken Fresno. Ken Fresno. So my other character action movie is Rick Lucite. <laughs> Dude, do you know how you had, if, if that is what I think it is, I'm going to fucking... I'm gonna spit on you. <laughs> oh shit! What? Okay, that's not. Okay. What? What? I I thought I saw something right on top of the microphone. I said if he got fucking ketchup on top of the microphone, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking spit on him. But he didn't. Uh, let's say hi to Keith in Lou oh, thank God. Louisville. Uh, Kenny Keith. Fresno needs a catchphrase yeah. though. Because Kenny Fresno hey, would have to say his name yeah. on stage. <laughs> Hey, Colin, I really love that show you had on uh, Comedy Central where you used to bring uh, Bob Kelly and all of them on. Whatever, ha how did that, why did that end all of a sudden? And I thought it would be better if you guys got it on, like, HBO where you could, you know, get a little a little more raw language. Mm. It would have been, but HBO didn't want to do it. Oh. They don't like, uh, a lot of people don't like the uh, agenda that we bring. Well, yep. the other thing was I couldn't figure out why they couldn't afford to get you a chair. You always were half cocked on that desk. I like when you lean against the pool table or something. So these idiots could slam my awful legs. <laughs> yeah. That was a crime that that show got Yes, uh, it was. It was disgusting. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's <laughs> like me and Kyle. That is the worst. <laughs> just just <laughs> eating. <laughs> Uh, you yeah, that was awful that that got taken off. There's no no uh, reason for it. No you know reason. Uh, you know well, funny? There was, there was a political reason. <laughs> well, also, That's we got some sure. complaints because I think it's, they were rerunning us the next day at 7, and then The Daily Show, they were rerunning at 7.30. And I think in that, and again, The Daily Show was a, was a bigger show, but our ratings were actually higher than The Daily Show at, at, in those reruns. It's, and again, I'm not saying The Tough Crowd was bigger than The Daily Show, but it was fucking a very watched show. Yeah, it was. And they got some complaints yep. about content, and they yanked it. And me and Penn, we had that argument uh, a you know, few weeks ago, yeah. where he was talking about Bill Donahue in the Catholic League, and he was going, the things they did to Matt and Trey like in South Park. And But what that made me think of is, Comedy Central proved that when you back a show, like they backed South Park, and you, you stand up against that bullshit, the fuck, it, it, now, it's the biggest show they've ever yeah. had. And they've gotten com uh, complaints, they've gotten... Uh, 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 protests Threats and, of boycotts, of yeah. And it's the biggest yeah. show they ever had because the network stood behind it. Mm -hmm. So that's, I guess, the point I'm making. They didn't like the idea that uh, you discussed race. Yeah. They, and and uh, meanwhile, uh, Chappelle's show, which was, you know, they were ready to just yeah. back a fucking tanker full of, of money over to him. Uh, that was nothing but racial humor. Well, I mean, that's all. Everybody knows. Everybody in the, in the country knows that... White people are not supposed to discuss race except from the mm -hmm. point of, of apologizing. Uh -huh. Yeah, or, or, or else you're racist. That's the way it is. Yeah, or else you're racist. That's the way it is. If you do anything and, but that, everybody has a heart attack. you got to apologize. Especially the white people. Yeah. And that's just the way it is. But nobody will really admit it completely. Or they'll go, well, it's too bad. It's payback. You know, it's just a fact. Payback. Well, yeah. Well, there's, <laughs> a, there's a little pushback happening with I'm just getting back on radio. I don't know. Some of those remarks he made were salty. <laughs> I heard one of those girls was scarred for life. Yes. And then I saw her iPod and I saw the playlist. <laughs> I noticed a couple of songs that might be a little saltier. <laughs> yeah, a little young cheesy exactly. number called "Take My 12 Gauge" into your, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's so it's so pathetic that even they have these girls being phony and going, "I was caught," you know. Did we? Yeah. We've talked about uh, the Yamis situation. I mean, off and on for what the last six months. And I even went down the road with Jimmy. I'm like, all right, let's try to see it the other way. Let's just sit here and try to see it the fucking other way. All right. So he got, in, open he got in at 10 o'clock that day instead of 6. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, yeah. It wasn't. <laughs> wow. Great line. Great line. <laughs> Stupid me still trying to make my point. <laughs> A cup of tea with eight sugars later. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Bravo. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so go ahead. I hope this you enjoyed is, the bounce pass. But this, kind of inter- but this is interesting to see it the other way. I'm not, I'm not even kidding, but go ahead. But, uh, mm. it, yeah, Jimmy and I, I think uh, we were in a cab on the way home. Like, let's just try to see it the other way. And it just still bothers me. I can't see it their way. Like, What's so fucking I could ever? not wrap my head around it at all. Like, even to play devil's advocate, I just could not. To get kicked off a radio it. show for saying nappy-headed hoe, it just <laughs> amazes me. It amazes yeah. but me. Good thing is, it though, doesn't amaze me. Go ahead. Good thing is he got rehired. And the bottom line, it's a great fucking thing that he got rehired because people go, oh, so now we're going to have to deal with him on the other side. It was a you know what, mm-hmm. terrible move. To you know what he did him. in the end? He helped the Rutgers women's basketball team program because mm-hmm. there was an article a couple weeks ago that recruiting has never been better for that school because of what because of what I miss said. He actually helped yep. their program. In the end, it was a, a massive positive thing for the school and every single person that uh, was yep. on that team, including the coaches and the stupid mop lady. And all the, that fucking, mops the fucking floor after the, the game's over. And they got nice hats for all the girls so you can't can't see their hair. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I can't, You're I mean, I can't believe fired. it. This is what's been happening now, you know? This is the this is the this is a climate that's never discussed, but you know. Did you uh is, see uh the um a few excerpts from the Pat Buchanan book? About uh, how I the mean, country come on, John. is. This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but that's your crowd. Oh, John. <laughs> how this, this, this country is just Finished. Pretty much done as in one of the great empires of the of the earth that is pretty much on the downswing. And uh, well, me and we'll philosopher Nick DiPaolo were talking about this yesterday. Philosopher and Nick what Nick DiPaolo actually said, which is true, is Pappy Cannon. One thing, whatever people think about him, he has hit the mark. In he's been the most predicted the most things in the past twenty years that were kind of happened. Yeah, in the country. Yeah, and yeah, I think it's definitely. He says true. with the dollar at an all time low, foreign countries looking to get off the whole dollar. They they're looking to pick up on the euro. Uh, uh, China uh, owning half of our country, uh, the housing market just in the shitter, and then uh, the invasion from Mexico that's happening. But this sounds like one of those things where you like this. Ready? Yeah. I'd like to read something to you, Anthony. <laughs> Foreigners are invading our land. The economy's at an all-time low. Yeah. There's crime everywhere. That was written in 1840. Oh, yes, yes. And if you look, that was written by Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, and we still went on to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, but I do think there's... Well, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with the actual country, but it's like that. just the phoniness of what we're talking about, the lack of discussing anything, the triple-double standards that yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah. But you know what? It's you not know? just white people anymore that are getting it, but black people don't get it from white. They get shit from other minority groups. Like the Asian groups, because there's been black DJs fired, like Donnell Rawlins got fired for something he said. There's been other black guys that get a lot of shit, but they never get it from white people because white people still feel paternalistic. They get it from fucking Asian groups who don't give a shit. And, and they deal with racism yeah. from blacks in the neighborhoods, having to fucking have them scream about more duck sauce and fucking the Korean delis. <laughs> yeah. They do. They deal with racism from blacks all the time. So they've yeah. had enough to hear. They don't give a shit. They don't feel, have I any feel guilt. I feel sorry for your mother. Yo, yeah. Jet Li. Yo, what you say? Yeah. Yo, Jet Li. But the only, the only people that don't <laughs> Jet call... Jet Where you, where you <laughs> keep the... Jet Where Lee. you keep the cold beer, Poppy? <laughs> Joe Jet Li. <laughs> I was um, at the Gene Simmons roast. Carrot Top was one of the roasters, and and I think RZA from Wu Tang was there. This is backstage, and he was trying to talk to Carrot Top. He goes, "Yo, Carrot Head." <laughs> it really made me laugh. Carrot head. Yo, Carrot Head. <laughs> Did Carrot Head uh, use any of those muscles of his? No, he was to just fight back. Of course it, not. He was fucking funny on the road. So I'll tell you that was yeah. Caratop was yeah. He was really funny. Yeah. Well, what am I saying? He was really cool on our show. Yeah. He was funny and nice. Yeah, he's great. All right, we're gonna take a break. Colin Quinn in studio playing Gotham Comedy Club, uh, an amazing comic, and uh, yeah, an amazing depressed comic. He's he insightful. Is. That's the best uh, comedy. I'll to say see, one by thing about Opie. That son of a bitch has always come to see me. And Anthony actually showed up once, but he had to sit right behind my aunt, remember? Yes. <laughs> remember I batched at Anthony because we always came, and then the, Anthony's in right behind my cousin. She's like, honey, isn't he the greatest? She's grabbing him the whole show. <laughs> That's cool. I fucked her. No, no, no. I'm teasing, of course. Oh. I remember back in the day when we met you for the first time, you are on the way to bet the horses, and, oh, yeah, and every time remember. we saw yeah. after that was you betting horses. OTB. And, then and he was, worried, he was worried about to... us giving the tip out because he didn't want the odds going down that day. I remember. <laughs> Uh, yeah. you, know, you were like, oh, I got a great tip from my uncle or whatever my it was. Cousin, Dylan. cousin. And you were running to OTB. It was such a great tip. And you're like, fuck, I just told the biggest assholes in New York radio this I great put, tip. Yeah. And you were panicking that we were going to go on the air that day. The odds were going to drop. 
spots. Your spot and making a three to I one on life. But actually, they closed that OTB too, you know. Why? Yeah, Around the corner of your house? Why? Oh, oh Ninth Avenue is really booming, Jim. I mean, you should be out there trying to invest. <laughs> You're right there, bye. <laughs> Take a brief walk on a Sunday after Lincoln Center, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> and then you were trying to drag us into that world with you. Come what on, do you mean? come on, you let's guys go. wanted to bet. I love that. Come on, let's, let's go. go. Let's let's bet. Bet. That's and these family bets the trotters, they probably go to the dog track. <laughs> Dude, Andrew we, looks like a highlight player. We <laughs> looks like a best highlight player. <laughs> wow. We did a gig at a dog track. <laughs> oh, dog yeah, track. we had One protesters. Of, we had protesters that was outside. Great. Boy, we were just trying to make an extra hundred bucks because ah, we were making Peter, no money in radio. And on the weekend, we're like, could you guys do an appearance activist. at the dog track? We're like, yeah, whatever. How much? It was like $100, $200 each. We're like, cool, that's some nice drinking money, right? We show up, there's a massive protest going on with our names on the sign. We're like, Whoa. what the fuck? Yeah, what thanks. we do? Actually, wow. Jim's working a dog fight this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to... The fork Dog Fighting Association. No, that's New Year's Eve. It's an 8 o'clock right, show. Oh, my God. At the North old Ball. Westbury Music Fair. If you want tickets, you go to Ticketmaster tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. It goes on sale. There you go. See? Hey, we you. just want to throw T-shirts out. You know, collect a couple hundred bucks, and we're dealing with fucking protesters. Protesters. Like, throwing shit at you our cars and stuff. You animal hater. <laughs> right. The dog. And they're showing, like, they have signs with pictures of greyhounds with big open wounds on them. And yeah, those are the dog track dogs. Dog track no, dogs are treated very healthy. Well. Is there any strategy it's to when they the can't dogs? run anymore? I think you have to speak to Cesar Milan. <laughs> <laughs> How could there possibly be strategy? They all look the same and they run the same. By the way, I saw the I dog uh, Cesar Milan last night. I watched an episode of Denise Richards. She looked pretty good. She was Denise Richards is a psycho. She didn't seem crazy on that dog show. She seemed she very normal. Is. Psycho, man. The shit I'm reading about her. Why? I, I got to piss. You Why Are you gossiping? Why is she a psycho? You're a little I gossip. Hear, I want to hear about this. Well, we can after the break. All right, since Jim really interrupted us, I'm well, gonna piss. he's got to piss too. That's why I'm going to. I'm holding you my. Were it really is like Charlie a, Sheen. It's like having Lamada in the studio. Yeah. I got to piss. <laughs> well, I do, <laughs> and you're like having Lamada in studio by looking at you <laughs> at the end of it. Hey, hey. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, a joke, uh, you know right. a joke certainly needs help when you have to add two endings to it by looking at it. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you this, Mister. The end of it. All right, fair enough. Kiss you forced me to make a comeback, Colin. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> And the horse you rode in on. We had you guys in a good place. And the whole cavalry I, behind you. I, I tried, Colin. And I tried they had it. her on tour where they all hated her. Emma, 48. 48. <laughs> all that bullshit, they all hated her. That's her intro. I thought it was Lulu. <laughs> so Emma, 48. <laughs> she was on a big tour, they all hated her. Uh, hey, I said, where's the toilet? He said, you're in it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Funny guy. So That's true. why I'm here. That's his comeback. Funny guy. That's why I'm here. <laughs> he was horrible. The greatest. No who said uh, he hasn't. It. No who love said it. he hasn't watched uh, Raging Bull ever. I do kind of a friend uh, of the show. Real good friend of the show. Who? Um, let me think. Uh, Patrice. Patrice. Oh, he's oh, never yeah. seen it? He'd like it. He would. No. Patrice of course. He, would. he calls it one of those white guy movies that he's never seen. He's exactly very, uh, what it is. He knows white guy culture, though. But he's pretty... Uh, Wait, he's black pretty, guys wouldn't enjoy Raging Bull? Why not? Should because of their hate for white people is starting to overshadow all their normal <laughs> behavior. <laughs> Just sheer hatred for white people overshadow any... That's why any... Patrice doesn't like Raging Bull. Yeah. Is there really, like, movies that uh, black guys like better than white guys? Besides... I, I was going to say, besides oh, the obvious. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Like what, though? Like, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is Raging Bull seems like it's such a great movie that white, black, blue, who, who gives a fuck would watch they would like that fuck. movie. How's that? They give a fuck. And when I say they, I mean black guys who give a fuck. Is there black movies that are, are really good that white guys refuse to watch? Yeah. Like what? That fucking Tyler Perry shit. I don't know one but, motherfucking white guy that no, would go no, no, see no. that but crap, that was, and it's hold on. grossing shit but that, every time. But that wasn't up for an Oscar. Let's go down that Oscar road. Oscar Raging Bull won. I mean, not that's, Best Picture. That right, was, but uh, that's what I'm saying. It was up for a million awards. I'm talking about a movie that is was so obviously good by all the critics and all that, but blacks refused to see it for whatever reason. I, I wonder if there's a black movie that white yeah, guys are the, like, uh, fuck that. What do you call us? The Irv Gotti Show on VH1. No, Ant's thinking. Ant's good at this shit. I'm just trying to think, like, you got something like way. Training Day, but that's not a black cast. Like, like Raging Bull is a white... Raging Bull's a white cast. Yeah. Uh, you're looking for a movie that was, like, Oscar-worthy with a, a, a majority... With, 
Uh, Malcolm X, majority. a lot of white people probably okay. saw it, but a lot more probably didn't see it than right. saw it, exactly. considering the fact it had Denzel Washington and it was as, as high profile a film Get as on was. the bus. How about get on the bus? I ain't seen get on the bus. Let's get on the bus. That was Spike Lee's movie about the Million Man March. Oh, okay. That was get good, on the bus. Ozzy Davis. Shut up. It was good. I like. Oh, sorry. That. I thought Spike I was calling for a second. Spike Lee is good. <laughs> uh, you guys, Spike Lee is a fucking great director, like, man. He's a great. Okay, now I will say it. Yes, now what? Shut up. What? <laughs> no, he's a great director. Uh, you're wrong. God, you're so stupid. No, man, he's a great he director. He stinks. He's very good. He's quite, all he's got is... But no, he's made two good movies his whole life. Which is what? Bus, Which is what? I love Get on the Bus, by the way. The one scene where he goes... They explained to Richard Bells how the white people in the civil rights movement really were not legitimate, and it didn't matter. No, no, no I'm not even talking about that. I'm not talking about his point of view. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't whoa. remember... Whoa. What if he was not part of a great director? What is he, great camera angles? No. You know nothing. <laughs> no. Shut your mouth. I like Holy. his directing. I like his directing very what much. What if he was not part of a directing? I thought it was the most important part. No, it's because his point of view is you shitty, that's fine. Go no, he can have a shitty point of view. <laughs> you have a shitty point of view, that's true, but... That's not true. He can have a shitty point of view. It doesn't mean he's a bad director. Oh, that's I silly. can't even discuss this with you. You really You're going to tell me that he's not innovative like fucking... No, I think uh, he's a, a fucking film school fucking amateur. Is how no. Why? Because he he takes the dolly and pushes it on people's faces? No, I actually don't like Go that. Go piss, you know nothing. That. No, I school hate days that. When is they're fucking, walking the film and they're, just, oh, they're floating through the air. I hate that here, fucking... I, I, I like Spike. I like get him. him. I've always here. liked him. I've liked him fucking since... Get him out. Since where he played Mars Blackman. I like the fucking... The first one he did about Nola, darling. What the fuck was that movie called? Huh? She's got to have it. That was a oh. fucking, uh, an invented, Please interesting get him movie. Out. No, he's wrong. I'm not even going to look at him. And these he's guys going to look at you, by the way. I just so want to remind the listeners. Honestly, listeners. I don't like Jim right now. What is I have to like remind the listeners that Conor Quinn and Jim Noir I don't like, like Jim right other. now. I'm being very honest. He he not. Because he doesn't like that I, I like Spike Lee. Are, are you up for a Spike Lee movie? I've never been. No. I met him once and he was kind of douchey to me, actually. I like Patrice O'Neill because Patrice O'Neill, Spike Lee was like... Saying, hey, man, give me a call. He's like, yeah, man, call my agent. And he, like, totally <laughs> sabotaged Spike, himself and with Spike. Spike. <laughs> and and, and, and Spike, Spike called him personally. Because Spike liked Patrice. That's he why reused I love the guy Patrice. over and over. Yeah. And Patrice is so stupid. Spike is, like, he's trying to... He's not stupid. He's great because he's a sabotaging comedian. He's like, fuck you. Well, sabotaging, <laughs> yes. But Spike is like, look, I really want you to be on hold for this movie. And Patrice was, like, trying to go have a pilot season. And Spike just went... <sighs> All right, then. No. And Patrice up on wasn't him. trying to go off a pilot season. He wanted oh. to be available, I think. Patrice oh. just doesn't like people trying to get cocky with him, and that's what's beautiful. And help him. Patrice doesn't like help and niceness. <laughs> well, I've got a couple more that are sitting right in this room. <laughs> you don't like help or niceness. I like help. <laughs> yeah, I like I help. Oh, he's going to get my password and fix my... Man, I'm gonna make you famous after your death. That's my new goal. Oh, Colin's very he's famous. Just, he's just. Uh, I'll he have is. my name on the book, though. That'd be cool. Colin, you walk down the streets of Manhattan <laughs> on a daily basis. How many people come up to? It's got to be a fuckload of people come up to you and say, "Colin, yeah, what hey, are you doing? Colin. What's going on? Yeah, what happened yeah. to you?" What? <laughs> oh my God! You, you are a freak. What happened to you? <laughs> Yeah, people go, what are, you, what are you up to, man? Why aren't you doing nothing? I didn't oh, mean God. that, stupid. I just meant because you got fat. <laughs> oh, oh I wasn't insulting your work. I was your <laughs> physical presence. God damn. I fucking love these guys. I, I think oh, I have to give I up. I fucking I love these you, guys. Carl. I tried today, buddy. Let's say hi to Tony in Pittsburgh. Tony! Tony. Malcolm X was a very good movie. What happened to the break? You Tony. like Malcolm X? Yeah, right. What happened to the piss? I don't know. Well, those are two good movies, Spike. I'm going to say do the right thing. I'm not one. talking to him but again I wanna... about the subject. This is, this is true. I, I really might... Hold on. Well, yep. I want to move on here. This is true. Tony, Tony in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Okay. Hi. Look at that. Teddy, maybe. All right, whatever. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. hey whatever. Hey, uh, fucking a white movie that black people love. Scarface. Yep. Yep. They love it. Scarface. They, love it. they really do. I, Great. Uh, Scarface just doesn't work anymore. Yeah, the it's blood the, is so the fake. music and the, the sound is really bad. How about bad. the fucking montage? Take it to the limit. Take it yeah. to the limit. <laughs> awful montage. Yeah. The music's awful. The blood is awful. The spe All the special effects are yeah, awful. Yeah, the sound yeah. of the gunfire is horrid. Is it bad? Yeah, really it's bad. It's really bad. You gotta it's remix that movie or something. Now they're laying, eh? <laughs> My fucking manager knows that guy. He's like a piano player. Of he does. He's like a piano player. The Where guy who played him, Hector. Guam? <laughs> no, I don't know. No, David, the older oh, one. Oh, sorry. His name is Hector. He's like a fucking classical musician. The guy who played the fucking guy. We will paint him back in spades, Tommy. <laughs> the guy who fell on his fucking, his stupid, his fell on his own chainsaw. That silly yeah. goose. You call him I a like liar, Frank? Oh yeah, Bell Bernstein. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We can fix that. Yeah. yeah. Like even after he's shot, he's thinking. Wait all right. Minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't kill a. Cop. 
when he oh. fucking goes on, and we'd like to go to a two, maybe you could throw in yeah, every month. Yeah, yeah, every month. <laughs> and we'd like to go uh, take the little lady to England, two tickets, first class. <laughs> and, 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 Smile more, Tony. Every day above ground is a good one. After, after Frank gets shot and the cops sitting there just like, Hey, Tony, you know how it is. Yeah, he goes, just, I told him. Don't make no sense oh, killing you. Fuck. <laughs> Fucked up. Yeah. There you Woo, go. Here it is. The montage. Nice. Oh. It's a montage. Montage. Nice. They're fucking dealing. Money's being counted. Yeah. Take it to the limit. Buying cars and tigers. Yeah. Great shit. The world shit. is yours. Yes. And he buys that fucking, what was she, Jewish? The one who played his Cuban sister? <laughs> yeah. With that fucking poofy hairdo? No, fucking Gina, Sam Afro. No, it's Isabella Rossellini. Is that her? No, no it? it's not. No, Anna Maria Albergetti. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I don't mind that. Right. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, she was in some Wait, something else. I like Michelle. Five. What was the name? Yes. What was the name? I, well, hold on. I'm gonna oh, confirm. Show five was never and better. She goes. And my who, kids. I don't know if there's a nanny. I guess. Who does this song? By the way, <laughs> that voice sounded really familiar from every yeah. fucking movie that was in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like Survivor, but it's not Survivor. Well, who was it? Um, I'll forget. Yeah, Fine. Michelle Pfeiffer was You're fucking right, great. Now. Right. The Hall Babylon Hall? Club again, Frank. <laughs> It what a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunt. She did nothing but do coke and sleep all day, and she was criticizing where the guy wanted to go have a burger. Maybe the <laughs> catcher in your little league team. Yeah. Who wanted to kill me? He hasn't got that base hit all year. I should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Are we uh, ready for leaks? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. It's piss time. Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio. Ah. Yes. Ah. Oh, I'm going to machine gun this entire motherfucking building before I blow it up. <laughs> You're dead. Who's next? Steve, probably. He's dead. Ooh, Danny. Uh, e <laughs> Ah, it's the Opie and Anthony Show with Colin Quinn, who's going to be at Gotham Comedy Club uh, starting tonight. We're up to Thursday, That's right? right? Tonight. Yeah. Fuck, I, I, wow, where's the week going? I thought it was like Tuesday or Wednesday. Behind right? us. Yeah. But it was it Tuesday goes away. Wednesday the other day. Oh, it just go. was. Hey. Matter of days ago. Got to get me. didn't fall asleep like some of your guests. I heard Patrice and Boston. This asleep. week, now, now Jimmy was out uh, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I was in La La Land. Right. <laughs> That's what they call it, the old left coast. <laughs> uh, what? Louisiana? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then uh, we had our, our, our stand ins or sit ins, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Our hack ins. Fat Bob Kelly. <laughs> he uh, took up a couple of seats. And then Patrice came in and fell asleep. And then Rich came in yesterday and fell asleep. I got to tell you, though, something. You're trying to justify the fact that you fell asleep. I fell asleep I know what once. you're doing. Oh. Right here in this, in this chair. I know what he's trying. Here's what I did. Here's what I did. Let me, let me show you my biggest mistake. Okay. I did this. I put my feet up, put the mic here. And went like this, and I was fucking exhausted. And then uh, people are talking, the show's going on, and then I opened my eyes, everyone was gone, and this gentle oh. music was playing. <laughs> this gentle, like, music box they music. They all left me, and, and all the listeners heard was... <laughs> and the there? music. Yeah, we just suck out, yeah. I was fucking like... And then I woke up like... Huh? What? And I didn't know where I was. And then when it hit, when it hit me that I'd fallen That's asleep the during the show, all oh, was I just like, oh my god, I fucking fell asleep during the show. That is a joke. And, and we had him on uh, Pal Talks. Everybody on the internet. Yeah, everyone, so everyone on the internet got <laughs> the screen capped. It's all over the place. That is the funniest shit. It ever. was, yeah. it was horrific. There is something about this studio. I will say, the chairs, the blue lighting, the the darkness. That is the, really funny. The the chairs. Lean back in that car. You'll feel it's like. Ah, uh, right? Oh, huh? yeah. You could go right out in that. Oh, There's the music. Incredible. Here it is. Was it, this was the actual music that day? And and here's what they heard. Wait. Not a snore, but just a like, kind of heavy breathing. Right. 
That's so funny. Yeah. How long was he? Was he oh, doing Christ, that? 20 minutes? It was no. over 20. No. It was 20 fucking minutes. No. He will admit to 20, but it was it was a bit longer than 20. <laughs> it was Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy's oh, about to go. Hey, no, hey no. really fast, I got to I got to get props to the... I do this. I got to get props yeah. uh, to the past. If you go to uh, Google, down, man, MySpace Voodoo is the number one search right now. Oh! See the power of the radio Thanks, show? Man. We made MySpace Voodoo the number one search on Google. This show's got power. It's volcanic. The activity, they're calling it volcanic. So there you go. <laughs> MySpace Voodoo. That's crazy. Bravo. So how many... So now how many people go to that? 250. <laughs> yeah, that's all it takes. Google's not a big uh, website yet, so... Nah, it's, so, it's, it's 250 bad. clicks, and it's number one, Colin. I wish I could have thought of some idea like that. Yeah, no, I'm starting something else called Giggle. It's like if you want to laugh on the net, you type in a concept and it finds funny things. And you Giggle. throw a joke in when he jokes it matches it good. It'll go good with my American gangster. Uh, Maury's got missing kids. But they're not missing. I told you, no. Maury. That he one, the, not the father. The mother told, I told you, her how to get away from a kidnapper. Uh, whatever. Uh. Hey, we got a uh, another two girls, one cup reaction. I don't know if this is good, but Danny's brought it in. It's a grandma watching that horrific video. See the grandma that one of the girls eating it? Watching what? <laughs> oh, shit. You haven't seen Two Girls, One Cup yet? Oh, no. no. Oh, okay. All right. Roll them. You won't even phase them. I, really? Like a phase no. of two girls are eating one cup of uh, Dude, soda. I this mean, is like an internet <laughs> sensation. It's Where a the phenomenon. Fuck have you been? Stop I only, watch, I only watch the uh, the saucy ones, like you know that uh, making fun of Britney stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. All right, here you go. Oh, Kyle. is that funny? And we like to tape it for the internet. So this is. I'm still uh, trying uh, to get Kim Kardashian, ladies and gentlemen. This is, uh, this is two girls, one cup. Camera for Colin. What is this nonsense? Well, what do you see so far? It's oh, excuse I me. see an Indian girl and a, and a white girl, and they're pulling each other. One's pulling the top down. That's it. Trash exposing That's, her boobs. Just exposing the boobs. There you go. Nice, right, Colin? Yeah. Very nice, actually. All right. Hey, well. Oh, God. Why did it come out the Turn, touch? turn. Why? <laughs> Why does it come out the texture of ice cream, though? That's the only amazing part. <laughs> see, that's why I think it's fake. Why aren't no, you turn watching? Around. Turn around. Colin, Why you gotta watch. Why don't you just fucking be a man? <laughs> yeah, Colin, you gotta Colin. watch. It's making me sick. You gotta watch. <laughs> Colin. <laughs> Colin. He's gonna be sick. Come on, you. He's gonna be sick. He's gonna be sick. You girl. made us pause the tape. Now look <laughs> at it. Look at it. He's gonna be sick. We're only halfway drawer. done. Look I at it. I didn't think it would phase you. Well, no, Colin. Rookie. Look at that monitor so we can get your your pretty face on, <laughs> on camera. Right there. You got, there's a pail just in case you get sick. Just a now just watch the rest of it. You have to watch. You got you got past the worst part. Oh, you yeah, remind you of yeah. yourself in the business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, roll him. All right. Okay. Oh God, no, watch it. Colin, watch. watch. What are you doing? Watch, 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 watch the whole video. video. <laughs> Colin, stop looking away. <laughs> You're ruining our radio show. We had to put pause again. <laughs> Colin, throw up. No, it's great. Oh, right, nice. right, okay, look, look. gonna throw up. There you go. <laughs> look, she's puking the That's shit up. Normal. Now watch. This is this now is, she's, she's puking, puking shit into shit. the other girl's mouth. <laughs> she's oh. puking shit into the other watch, girl's. Watch, watch. Look is, at that one. That was a gem. <laughs> <laughs> she puked. Oh look, they're so hungry. The girls are so hungry, Carl. <laughs> Colin's got, he can't get away from the it. The fucking, the one girl ate the shit and then puked it into the girl's mouth. Oh, that's a great reaction. How many wow. People thrown up from watching I, it. I thought Bob you said Kelly he wasn't going to be Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, really, really puked. That's that was a disgusting thing. Right. Well, with that, we got a grandma that just watched, uh, well, she watched the same video Colin just watched. Here it is. <laughs> what the hell? Up. Get out of here, jockey. Where is it? Oh! Oh, oh. 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 Grandma. Oh! <laughs> oh no, no, no! I can't. <laughs> oh, she's thrown up. Oh, she's got that up. Oh. You. Good grief! You need to talk to someone. Good oh, that's a. Oh, I'm so. Oh, I'm so. 
What's the deal on that, Danny? Well, the clip ends with her running into the bathroom gagging. But uh, <laughs> it, check out the video. It's actually up on uh, collegehumor.com. Today. All right. What uh, is that video that we just saw? Yeah, that, that's everywhere. That's everywhere. And then the reactions to it are getting put up all over everywhere, too. I mean, I've heard there's a lot of those videos. Oh, is that right her now, right there? But I can't watch it. Let's see old granny. No, with yeah, this one, it. it's... I don't know. This one is taking off. I don't understand why some of this stuff uh, takes Re off. Reactions well, Robert to Robert Plant's watching the video. Yeah. Why am I bothering <laughs> to write my manifesto and put it out when this is the kind of shit that takes <laughs> look off? How <laughs> look how petrified her face is. <laughs> she Holy shit, up. she can't figure it out. Oh, she wow. can't figure it out. That's a great reaction. Oh, my God. Oh, she looks like Dr. Zayas. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. <laughs> she looks like Imus. <laughs> she really does. Yeah, a little Imus in there. This is what Imus has been up to. It's a nappy headed ah, cup. <laughs> wow. Two girls, one cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, no, jerk. No. no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> How could you keep watching? I was going to... Who's showing up? <laughs> <laughs> Who shows their grandmother this? Who doesn't? Uh, <laughs> hey, let's go to O-Town. Uh, Alex. Here's what you get for giving me a nickel for fucking my birthday. <laughs> Watch this shit-eating video in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> fucking caustic old cunt. You've been wrecking our lives for years. <laughs> yeah, fucking burden. Grab your chest and fall down the stairs already. <laughs> fucking, fucking cash in on that stamp collection. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking sell your hummels. <laughs> So I can fucking sell those little fucking figurines, <laughs> make a few dollars, buy myself a good tranny. Oh. <laughs> Alex? Hey, what's up, Oney? How you guys doing? Hey. Alex, you're going to be late for school, son. <laughs> Alex? Dude, you guys need to go to twogirlsonecop.com and actually click on the one that says worst reaction ever. Dude, it's absolutely fucking hilarious. You can hear the chick, like, just, like, you, you can hear her heaving and shit in the background, and she actually throws up. It's really? absolutely fucking hilarious, dude. And it's just a chick watching it? Yeah, she's she's watching it, but she sets up, you know, she sets up the camera like the rest of the reaction videos, whatever. But, uh, dude, you can you you can hear her heaving, and it's <laughs> it's just so fucking funny, dude. She puts her hand up in the middle of it, and uh, it, it, you can tell it's real. You can tell it's very real. It's fucking great, dude. All right, cool. What is that behind you? What are this they doing is, on this one? This is two girls, one finger. Put the fucking on all screens, all right, before I smack you in the face. Two girls, one finger. finger. All right, thanks, sir. Yeah. <laughs> what is that, diarrhea? No, it's well, puke. <laughs> I'm just using, uh... Yeah. It's called two girls, one finger. Oh, that's disgusting. What, um... They're Whoa. throwing up all over the place. Oh, they're kind of throwing up on the camera lens? You know oh, what you that? have here? Uh, uh, ha, ha, ha. The one girl is ah. shitting into the mouth of the other girl. But that's at least a big, solid one. But it's all broken so together. So what? So what? Those feel better in your mouth, believe me. <laughs> oh, God, look at Oh, this. look, they're transferring they're it back. It. And listen, there's an eel going from cave to cave. <laughs> oh, I'm God. hiding. Oh, and then there's shitty spit all between. Oh, now, this uh, Asian girl is covered with shit. The duty was hiding in between, like, one mouth to the other. It was like... The duty. I'm going to hide here. I mean, the duty. The duty was playing hide and seek. It looked like a tool video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it looked like sober. So they were pushing me. Sober? Yeah, pushing yeah. it through the pipe. Right on, man. All right. Oh, MFX, these are the best. Speaking of uh, internet sensations, we got uh, the cherry chocolate rain thing. This is ridiculous. Danny, you want to explain this one too? Oh, this Why is just right a, this Dad. is an abomination. Danny didn't pull this one. Uh, <laughs> this is um, Tay Zande, the original artist of Chocolate Rain. Chocolate Rain! That yeah. guy, yeah. Um, oh, selling goodness. out officially. He kind of had to, but he, this is the official moment where Tazan Day. Well, what else out. was he going to do with that dumb that's song? That's what I said. What? Yeah, that's, that's true. true. It's like, wow, man, he just, he lost his fucking dignity that he had. I don't think he's going to be selling concert tickets as the Chocolate Rain guy. No. So, this is the only way that he could have went. What yeah. do you think? Cherry, oh, okay. He's endorsing, um, uh, uh, what, Cherry, <clears throat> Cherry Chocolate Dr. Pepper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. something oh, yeah. like that. Let's take a listen to this. Allow me to introduce myself. Ooh. My name is Tay. It's T A Y T A Y to the Z. This is a web, and it's gonna murder your TV. It was chocolate rain. Wrote a song about that history. Chocolate rain. Now I'm paid a hefty, hefty fee Chocolate rain Listen to the funky rhymes that we Chocolate rain I moved away from 
from the mic to breathe. He moves his mouth away from the mic so he can breathe. breathe. He moves his mouth away from the mic so he can breathe. breathe. I want to tell you about a love that took me by force. She hit my heart like a wild red horse. I call her Cherry Chocolate Rain. Open the door and see you standing there. Cherry chocolate rain. Pull me down with that delicious air. Cherry chocolate rain. I need you right now, don't you want to stay? Cherry chocolate rain. Your beauty burns me like a solar ray. Most downloaded video clips. Most explosive video chips. Making big videos. We big city pros. Got mad willy flows. Like get plenty dough. Oh. Make it pop, Cherry, whoa, tick-tock to the clock, little berry flows, ridiculous, Mr. Johnson and Tazar, they sick with this, Cherry chocolate rain, release my love and unlock the chain, Cherry chocolate rain, your energy is coursing through it's my time. Brain. Cherry chocolate rain, it's time, Ohio's Agriculture's based on grains. Cherry chocolate. It stinks and I don't like it. My <laughs> life will just never be the same. Dark, sweet, unexpected. Taste the secret you're infected. I'm not you're good. My body's <laughs> deepest <laughs> pains brought the thunder, made it rain. Right. Okay, terrific. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, did you see that jerk? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. well, there you go. Barry from Pittsburgh. He lingers uh, longer. Tay learns the art of shoehorning lyrics. Yep. There you go. Yeah, fitting a, a few cherry chocolate rain. Cherry chocolate really. rain. Throwing that in there, huh? Uh, let's go to Chicago. Joe, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man. I actually vomited in my orange juice cup when Rich Voss was describing a girl shitting in another girl's, or vomiting shit into somebody's mouth. And I've heard you guys play that clip before, so it didn't bother me. I don't know why. I don't know if it's early in my stomach. Well, you know what? You're making me want to throw up by confusing me with Rich Voss. <laughs> oh, that was you? I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, stupid. All right. I still love your show at HBO, Jimmy. You're Thank you, buddy. I apologize for calling you stupid oh, and being defensive. I am stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, sir. That was heinous. Appreciate it. Up. All right. There you go. Shit. Very good. But, dummy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Than's showing off his picture with... Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you won't be getting one of those. Uh, see it. With another one. Tay now Sunday. that he's famous. Where'd you, where'd you meet him? Where'd you meet fucking Drew Boogie? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he did some corporate party that my girl was a part of. Corporate party. What did he do? Party. Sing chocolate rain for an hour? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> right. It was, right. It was a thirty-minute set, and he, you've never seen a, a bigger sea of indifferent white faces until he actually got to uh, the big hit. Chocolate oh, rain. Every, did he close it? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Every what other songs did he do? It. I don't know. It was. Oh. I don't know. I'm not familiar with his catalog. It Why not just, just do Chocolate Rain and then go home? Because <laughs> he's an artist. And what they all do? Do they all sing along when he would say Chocolate Rain? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh. I fucking, I hate whatever company she works for. <laughs> Unless it's, uh, I can't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> Exploiter.com, I can't even say that. God damn it, I had a gem too. Uh, yeah, that is a good <laughs> one. Fat stomach, I can't stop eating. Get big stomach out of the way, I can't see the TV. <laughs> He's eating a hoagie. Lamada's sitting there eating a fucking hoagie. You fuck my wife. In his boxes with his shirt open. Eating a hoagie. That's the best part. Oh, that looks like something. Fucking Pesci's trying to fix the TV. That looks like something. It looks like nothing. It's fucking snow, and then Lamada hits it. He goes, that could be something. <laughs> no, it can't be. It's funny because it's just the misery of life. Yeah. Yeah. With their particular guy. <laughs> sitting there hoping something happens. <laughs> Yeah, that was good. That, that 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 vomit video. Yeah. You know what I like to put under that? Hmm. We hold these truths to be self-evident. <laughs> and just show all, just write out the whole Constitution that was painstakingly 
put together under musket point in like the 1700s. As they're uh, as puking, shit puking shit into shit each other's mouth. watching it. Yeah. If you took that off the air, people would cry censorship. <laughs> well, you know what? This fucking world is finished. That's not an American thing. That video is Brazilian. You're right. No. That's my point. Listen, guys, um, I'm going to come back in a few weeks when he goes to fucking night school. Hey, shithead. Nothing to do with this country. You See, we're even our outsourcing our fucking ridiculous shit-eating pornography. Yeah. I like that. We, it's like our torture. If we don't want to do it, we'll just give them the fucking serious. the way it should be. We don't We don't want to eat shit. We'll have the Brazilians do it. Have a little duty sandwich. You'll film it. That really is joke. the most... It, 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 uh, oh, you're a fucking kid. You don't know living until you've had a fucking girl about to shit on your chest who promises she didn't use a suppository and then it ricochets off your chest and bounces on your bathroom floor and you realize... This would be funny, but no one would believe it. <laughs> and then fucking, and then warm cornmeal shit pours under your chest. Oh, Jesus! Why is it the solid ones? Oh, that's <laughs> disgusting. It wasn't us. solid because solid so you ones. Said the first one ricocheted. I know. Everyone likes a fucking no. That was the fucking suppository. Everyone <laughs> so likes a Super Bowl. A, a solid shit in their mouth. It's something. Something about a solid shit standing up like a silo sticking out of your mouth. You almost feel like you're blowing into a, a didgeridoo. <laughs> <laughs> didgeridoo duty. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I had to go first grade on that one. And the most offensive part of it all is he has to bring a silo, so you see, like, the image of like, the Grant Wood American Gothic <laughs> of a great country formed by God fearing Protestants and but no, slept six hours a day yeah. and get up at dawn with a nice bit. Trust me, you're, you're, you're laying there on your back, you're like, uh -huh, and there's a fucking, you're looking at a tube of shit standing up and you're jerking him off. But the whole time, you're like, I know as soon as I come, I'm going to have the awful reality of a piece of shit being in my mouth. <laughs> Do you spit the shit out before you come so you're not well, totally Jim, freaked out? I wouldn't know. I'll have to oh. trust you because I'm certainly not going to experience it. Why do you have a tube? A tube? You said a tube in your mouth. No, I'm saying if you're looking at a log of shit that was solid, it looks like oh, a big it's tube. A tube of a shit. Silo. I thought you might use a tube to make sure it didn't splatter in the wrong way. Uh, oh, no. That's rookie. That's, 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 that's rookie. Well, it's like dog. using a condom. It's that impossible. Can be like a funnel shot of shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like your yeah. fucking. It's not a fucking fun fact. You ate your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she can shit through a fucking Willy. a cookie cutter. Have a smile on my face. He's like Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Willy Wonka. <laughs> He's a good. Hey kids, here's the shit. And, 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 and there's a big piece of shit in my mouth. And there's a bunch of oh, doop a dee do. Do what went wrong with you? <laughs> Here's where we have the diarrhea shit in this room. <laughs> you should do a movie like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Only, Only shit. shit. The shit river. They could take the boat down. It's <laughs> right. Uh, Augustus okay. poop. Okay. <laughs> More shit jokes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, Unbelievable. Well, fucking Charlie and his disgusting incest family. They just lay there with bed sores smelling. Oh. Old people all sleeping, sleeping together, together. No. touching the kid. You know, you know they were touching the kid. Of course they were. They were like the fucking grandparents of Midnight Cowboy. <laughs> Here's a dollar, lover. Go see a movie. I've... The fucking grandmother and the cowboy. Woo -hoo, partying with seven-year-old <laughs> John Voight in the bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about you know Bobby Kelly told me he threw up on the show, but yeah. I just yeah. went. Didn't he? I clicked out when he, he goes, dude. I threw up, and he did. I was just like. Do yeah. something else like while well, he kept rambling. I don't know what happened. Oh, the Bobby it. Kelly reaction's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. He's just. Bleh, you think he was bleh. looking at exercise equipment? Yeah. <laughs> well, Colin's gonna be at Gotham. Yes. Comedy club starting tonight. We don't have a phone number because you don't uh, supply any of that for us. Two one two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the best part I got. <laughs> <laughs> just go from there. Just dial randomly. You might hit it. There's a manifesto laying around that needs to be. Organized. Organized. If you're Japanese German, but not the porn types, but an organized. <laughs> not the type, chicken like fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the scoot chicken. Yeah, yeah, the scoot. And you seem happier. I am happier. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Yeah, Definitely. I was depressed the past couple of years, but I've been uh, past few months. I've been alright. Good. Yeah. Snap out of it. Pick I yourself up by out. your bootstraps. Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. All right. Line of the day is brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. It's a football thing. Yeah, well, Fantasy footballers. Yeah. How many? Uh, Five runner ups. Wow. I knew it. Holy Good shit. Christ. It's going to be all. Never get out of here. Oh, Jim I and mean, Colin. Great. Uh, <laughs> free life scoring stats, bios, and news that will help you win big this season in fantasy football. It's BodogFantasy.net. Here is the first of many runner up lines of the day. She looks like Kirby from, you know, the old Nintendo oh, wow. game. <laughs> <laughs> nice reference. She's a fatty, huh? Yeah, man. Like the look she looked like Tyrant then. from Resident Evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Colin. There you go. I sounded very sexy in that one. That was you. I did. That was you, Colin. That was all you. Another runner-up line of the day. This is MySpace comedy, Colin Quinn, and then it says stand-up slash as seen on TV. <laughs> yeah, what? Is, you're an awful product. You're selling yeah, on WPIX. You're a, you're a flow no, bee. Yeah, <laughs> 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 All right. Nice. Right to the next one? It okay. seems like a long time ago, but it was only a couple hours. It does seem yeah. like a whole lifetime. I guess to walk over. It's a uh, another one. Runner up, right, 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 stand up. Every yeah, but day. you got to find like some kind of angle. Should be talks about it. You, in, here's, in what, here's what Colin's book should be. It should be you. Here should be the photo. <laughs> should be you, like sitting in front of a computer with like a bunch of like papers piled up and your hands in the air, like what the hell, folks. <laughs> and, and the book should be called Colin Quinn, and then it should be Colin after it, Hodgepodge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just when that image was out of my head, now it's know, back in. Too. That horrible cover. With the fucking, the green turtleneck, oh. with the red Christmas colored the, sweater vest. And like, don't, glasses and a light beard. You don't know how vividly I picture that. Really, I know. I Thank could God. totally see it. Hodgepodge. If Hodgepodge. Huh, what am I well, going to do? If I had that oh. image vividly, I'd probably kill myself. <laughs> I would jump You wouldn't grab it. the rail. <laughs> Here's another runner-up line of the day. We've talked about uh, the Yamas situation, I mean, off and on for, what, the last six months? And I even went down the road with Jimmy. I'm like, all right, let's try to see it the other way. Let's just sit here and try to see it the fucking other way. All right, so you got, Have in, an open you mind. got in at 10 o'clock that day instead of 6. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> wow. Great line. Great line. Uh, Fucker. I was still trying to make my point. What an idiot I am. Uh, we have one more runner-up. All right, here's the last runner-up line of the day. Are you at Montclair State? Mm -hmm. I have four classes left till I graduate. Yeah. And I ran away to Florida, and they came back. And Why did you run away to Florida as an adult? Were you Ratso Rizzo? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dude, I was raising... <laughs> Can I, uh... That was very good, by the way. I, I just gotta, like, acknowledge an asshole. Someone who's not brave enough to use his real name, by the way. Calling on Howie. Shh, don't mention it. Shh, we're honest on this show. Ha ha, honest. Who gives a shit what? if Colin Quinn was on Howard Stern? If you know yeah, anything about he this. He Get out! You're, this, See, we you're an care. asshole, you fucking douche. Dude, he's our friend. You're an asshole. You, you obviously don't know this uh, radio show. We never cared about that crap. Exactly. What? When I supposed to do both? <laughs> well, yeah, what, who cares? Colin well, we uh, We explained that <laughs> years ago that we don't play the same game Howard does. Howard actually does play that game. And fuck with people if they end up on our oh, show. Oh, he does? Yeah, so sorry about that. He never did it with me. <laughs> that was the last time you were on his show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would no, but he does. I mean, not maybe not with everybody, but he definitely has played that game over the years. We've never played no, that game, you ass, me. and we've talked about it on our show. Yeah, we're honest. Don't ever bring that up. It's forbidden. Yeah. Verboten. There you go. Next time, use your, your real name, asshole. Here is your line of the day, thanks to BodogFantasy.net. By the way, light of the day. Yes, the day. very well. Light too. of the day. Of the day. Of the day. I did examples of some great stuff, though. Who's your caddy? The Caveman series is terrific. Exactly. But I don't think that Jim's uh, answer is correct. Oh, oh. I'm not going to... My answer is not getting Commander McBrag with him. No. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part of the lot of the days, Jim didn't get it because he's too young. I didn't. Oh. I didn't. I'm just... A, good I'm a youthful boy. Action-packed. Sometimes I don't get things because I'm youthful. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank what Ken Ken Fresno. Ken Fresno. Ken, thank Fresno. Ken Fresno for stopping by today. And, and my girlfriend <laughs> Cristobal San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to remind people that the way to end this year properly. Yes. Oh no! Don't let a it promo. It's too much. On oh. New Year's Eve, you're pushing it too hard. Now stop. I have to. Tickets are on sale no! tomorrow. I've been gone all week. Usually he's oh. nine a.m. tomorrow. Usually he starts with a plug for his pal, just so he can, yeah, yeah, and then so he can do his own. No, nice little segue into nice, his plug. Nicely segue into his own. But it's too many plugs. No, it's not. It's how stupid. about how about we just plug Colin? Um, yeah, how about we plug Colin 
full of fucking dick. How about that? We get the collar. <laughs> How about that? Should have been the line of the week when he goes, but Bob Kelly's mouth with black cock. What you say? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fuck but him I in the my mouth. my elephant <laughs> tissue paper line was a damn good one, too. Oh, that was good, good too. too. But fucking. Oh, good, but how many are we going to have, for fuck's sake? Yeah. But fucking onion paper if I'm really old. <laughs> and then I could have. Tickets on sale 9 a.m. tomorrow at Ticketmaster for New Year's Eve. In, uh, it's Westbury Music Fair, which is called the North Fork oh. Theater. Why do they call it that, Jimmy? I think because South Spoon was taken. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of wordplay humor. Who's and this is a different hour than HBO, um, by the way. You have an opening act? I will, yes. I say you go with a couple of zingers. What about Rishi Voss? Uh, well, we both know he's open. Uh, I, mean, I, could, I could call Voss December 30th and he'd be available. I mean, there's no rush to book Voss. If you, if you said you want to work New Year, he'll go, yeah, what days? I'm open the whole year. <laughs> hey, listen, the, the number for Gotham for Colin Quinn is 212-367-9000. Another thing, I guess XM fucked up one of our fan sites and uh, got a lawyer involved, so they need a plug. XMRadioGold.com. What happened? They got a fucking cease and desist from uh, XM, I guess. Why? What so, and, so I guess they're now called Radio Gold Fan or Fans.com. We'll sue you. Well, they're trying to start up a nice, uh, friendly, you know, fan site, and uh, XM kind of fucked them a little bit. <laughs> they well, actually to tried to shut them down. That's yeah, a they, good they one. Sent them a, I guess they All sent right. them a letter. Well, Did they? From legal. Uh, we had nothing to do with that. Was so. it really them? Because sometimes uh, competing message boards will conjure up a fake cease and desist. They spell uh, cease, S-E-A-S-E. -S -E. <laughs> Isn't that how it's spelled? No, it's spelled little know. cease. But desist. wait a minute. Uh, yeah. They just had to change the name of their board? Because yeah. if you go to XM Radio Gold... It redirects to that, Radio Gold. Oh, uh, it just redirects. So they're still okay, but uh, XM did get involved. So XMRadioGold.com is now RadioGoldFans.com. Oh, I don't They're know. trying to get off the ground, so we're trying to help them out a little bit. The whole thing is just, it just drives you batty. Uh, I'm going to start a thing. Quadruple A, ColinQuinn.com. This is why I'm the first one in the <laughs> phone book. <laughs> phone book. A, 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 no. A, Colin Quinn. They don't even hand out phone books anymore. Phone book. The first one in the phone book. No one hey. uses phone books. I, uh, actually, they still deliver phone books for some reason. And I, I'm one of those, like, asshole fucking homeowners that just leave it in the driveway. And it got all rained on, oh. and I ran it over 20 times, and, like, <laughs> all my Jewish neighbors have meticulously kept houses and everything, and I'm there with this, like, streak of paper and tire marks up my driveway. Phone books I finally picked it up was, the other day, but... When I, was a, when I was a kid, this cop on our block, we were talking to my friend, they were talking to Serpico, just came out with little kids, and he goes, yeah, you know, yeah, I was in that precinct. We used to crack them into phone books, we wouldn't leave any marks, but it was not that bad. <laughs> they used to beat guys with phone books. Beat guys with the phone yeah. book. Yeah. yeah, that's good, because then it, you wouldn't leave any big bruises, yeah, and you right, could right, send right, them right. out, maybe a broken rib or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Work them over. The old, old school. <laughs> All right, we're out, Colin. Thank you. Thanks, yes, guys. Yes, Colin Quinn, always a pleasure. You look good. You look good. It was Keep fun. It yeah. Keep it up. And come back. Jimmy Norton. Don't be a stranger. I'll come back with my manifesto. You know, like I said, I haven't come around a lot because I feel like, you know, what is there to talk about? How I was sitting in my house, you know, but now... Uh, and, then, and next time I see you out and about, I go, hey, you got to come on our show. Don't go, shut your fucking Mouth. You do that was a long time ago. Be, it's not. It's not going to help your career. Shut your mouth. Oh, the, shut your, shut just, your mouth. mouth. Just take it as as a real thing that I wanted you back on the show. Fine, yeah, Carl, can't people be nice to you? You're very defensive. Why don't no, you shut I'm not love? defensive. I You're told you what happened a year and a half ago. I was, Shut your mouth! I resented a year and a half ago. I told you this last time I was on. When I was calling in kind of semi-regularly. Yeah. And one day I called in and somebody goes, They're too busy. They can't get to you. Oh. With a phone call, Who I resented that. Who the fuck said that. that? I discussed this last time we were on. And you took it personally? Maybe we really Why would I take it personally? I would, too. I the there are the times show. we do that to get rid of people, I'll be honest. But I, yeah, I, but I bet you, if, no, I bet you that there was hold, something going on. I was calling it. Yeah, what you had going on was... Bill Burr was in. He was thinking of putting a down payment on his little apartment. <laughs> oh, shit. There's some bullshit. Oh, so God why damn. Would, why wouldn't you go to Colin, dis despite his little Abner tuft of hair sticking out the front? A little Abner. <laughs> I want to fucking cut your hair with a sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you gray, you short lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> but Collins had the Fucking same forehead since he was 22. Exactly. You lost it at 22. I'm not take this abuse from Oxygen Network executive. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're one of those guys, you quickly start losing your hair, and then out of nowhere it stopped, and it's yeah, been the I same place. Yeah, I was like 23. You're right. 23. That's exactly right. I, I remember you from remote it's control. never changed. <laughs> it just, that was it. Yeah. That was it. He'll tell you. Yeah. But, uh, He's yeah, so that's that. that. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Language. Come on. <laughs> Enough already. Enough already. Perfect finish. Let's get the fuck, get out, the of fuck out of here. And he said it with total passion. <laughs> oh, I meant it. I know. <laughs> Most of those have a nice ending. We don't. We, uh, no, we never. Uh, it's that's nice a good one. Obi's eating a banana like it's a cigar. And he goes, let's get the fuck out of here. Norton belches. And you have your fucking sunglasses on like Dr. Octopus. <laughs> 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 Doc cock. <laughs> fucking creep. <laughs> oh, yes. Here comes fucking uh, Roland. Oh, we we decided, Roland, we decided, uh, actually Bob Kelly and I decided uh, from the back when you were walking down the street, by the way, in freezing cold weather, that fucking guy just wears a t-shirt. Yeah, he doesn't he does. have a jacket. From the back, turn around. Turn around. From the back, he looks exactly like the warden from Midnight Express. He looks like he should have those two little fat kids leading him to school before he goes and beats some poor guy's feet. Billy eyes. Billy eyes. <laughs> and then hopefully you'll get a big fucking wooden coat hanger to the back of your Bob neck. Kelly look, looks like you ever see uh, Miller's Crossing? Yeah. Miller's, no. Miller's Crossing, yeah. It's the fucking greatest movie of all time. Sorry. But he comes to Lito's like a mob guy and he smacks his kid. He's like a big, he has the little fat Italian kid. He hits him, the kid starts crying. He goes, Who hit you? Who hit you? And all this. You got your movie, Jimmy? I do. Thank nice. You. We have right. Guy Ritchie coming in tomorrow and Jason Statham on uh, the, 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 the uh, terrestrial side. So I wanted to promote their movie, but I didn't have a copy to watch myself. No, we can watch well, I mean, it. The way you, you obviously got an eye for directing, so I think... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, it's great to have you back, Jimmy Norton. Oh, you know, Welcome and it's back. good to be back, AC. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. Pogram. Pogram. Speaking of pogram, po. Get my this is my truck. <laughs> I gotta fucking piss again. This big hmm? cock of mine holds a lot of urine. <laughs> what do we got, uh, then? Something? Uh, I thought you did. Do we? Tomorrow. What? Okay. Tomorrow what? Everything gets pushed off. The sun will come out. Come on, Jimmy. Tomorrow. That's right. You gotta lay in bed and die of cancer tomorrow. <laughs> Like Yule Brenner. <laughs> you won't be waking up tomorrow because you're a lot of cigarettes that you smoked yesterday. Now you're just a corpse. Oh, you used to be fun in the sun to talk to, but now you're shitting in your bed and your head is full of mush like Lyle Alzado. Oh, you're going to be dead by tomorrow. Who's this uh. fat cunt? On Jerry Springer. <laughs> Holy fuck. You know, if someone's that fat in public, you should be able to just to stab them. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I always see Jimmy dressed uh, in this kind of outfit. Like Ellen DeGeneres? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I, I would look kind of cute with a t-shirt with a suit. I'd look kind of sassy like I was a fucking college guy. All right, Steve, we got anything to go over? No. We're, no. we're no. done, How come Steve. you didn't call me back? I called you. I wrote you. Okay. Well, I called you twice. You didn't call me back. No, I didn't. You called me once. I called you twice. More. <laughs> just, not true. Just a little conversation. <laughs> That's right. Steve doesn't call people Why? back. Why shouldn't we just yeah. be on the Here's air? Here's how you end the show. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks a lot. Ah!